We begin with stunning news coming from the Caribbean. Haiti's Prime Minister Ariel Henry has submitted his resignation. The embattled Prime Minister will step down to make way for a transition council and a temporary re replacement. After the Council of Ministers tonight accepted to put into place a transitional presidential council, the members of the council will be picked after agreement with different sectors of the national life. The government I am running will remove itself immediately after the establishment of the said council. Now the announcement comes after the envoys from Caribbean nations held an emergency meeting in Jamaica over the crisis in Haiti. The Caribbean community, or CARICOM, has outlined the steps for Haiti once Prime Minister Henri steps down. The Transitional Presidential Council will swiftly select and appoint an interim Prime Minister. The Transitional Presidential Council will, together with the interim Prime Minister, appoint an, an inclusive Council of Ministers. The Transitional Presidential Council will hold the rel relevant and possible powers of the Haitian Presidency during the transition period until an elected government is established. The U.S. has also come out in support of Prime Minister Henri's resignation. In fact, during the meeting with leaders from the Caribbean, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken pledged an additional $200 million in aid for Haiti. Washington has also offered Prime Minister Henry the choice to continue staying in Puerto Rico, citing the risk of returning to his homeland. Given this increasingly urgent need, um, I'm announcing today that the United States Department of Defense is doubling its approved support for the mission from $100 million to $200 million. And that brings the total U.S. support to $300 million for this effort. I'm also announcing additional humanitarian assistance for the people of Haiti, $33 million to further support their health and food security. As gangs in Haiti continue with their attacks on government institutions, Kenya has agreed to expedite the process to deploy its security officials in Port-au-Prince. Now this stems from a recent agreement between Kenyan President William Ruto and Haiti's outgoing Prime Minister Ariel Henry. Status is as you know it. There was a small court matter. That small matter has been resolved uh, because the court said we, sh we needed to have a reciprocal agreement with the Haiti. That reciprocal agreement has already been um, signed about a week ago. So we are now in the pre-deployment stage. The standard operation procedures are in place and um, Kenyan police officers will be just part of the multinational uh, security mission in Haiti. Kenya is a lead nation, but there are so many other countries that have pledged to contribute troops. Um, and this came from the mandate of the United Nations uh, uh, Security Council. So it's part of our international obligations. Meanwhile, former cop turned gang leader Jimmy Chidezier has warned against the deployment of international forces in Haiti. The gang leader says that any presence of international troops will lead to a bloody revolution. Chidezier added that the foreign nations had already meddled in Haiti's internal matters for far too long, and it was now up to the people of Haiti to decide their next leader. We demand that the choice of the person who is going to lead this country we live in will be made by the Haitian people. We want to make sure the person who is going to lead this country's wife and children live in Haiti. Today, we are taking this opportunity to ask the international community to give Haiti a chance. Because in the situation it's in right now, it's up to us Haitians to decide who can govern the country and what kind of government we want, and how we are going to work to get the country out of the misery it's in. With Prime Minister Henri stepping down, there is still a long way to go before peace can be secured. Gang leaders are eyeing the corridors of the National Palace as a power vacuum forms. Meanwhile, the deployment of an internationally led security mission is likely to begin soon. This comes as hundreds of thousands of Haitians remain displaced. Haiti's future remains unclear and the next leader is also in doubt. We'll stay abreast of developments as Chirizia plots his next move. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. 
The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.